hello everyone today we are going to uh, work on evad so here let's start a fight i mean so as you can see when they before they launch a heavy attack i can evade well i can evade for both heavy and light attacks if i just stay here i will get hit that's i get hit but if i evade i don't get hit so we can also use blocking as well but we can block only the blockable attacks that means these type of attacks can be blocked but the attacks that we indi that indicated by red circle cannot be blocked so here let's wait for another red attack or here see if we try to block a non blockable attack we will be stunned which makes us vulnerable for further attacks so our shield or our guard will be broken so for the heavy attacks i should evade like this all right that's what we are going to work on today and before we get started I'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done from the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And this is a part of this Unreal Action RPG with gameplay ability system series I'm doing. You can watch all other episodes also from my channel. I'll leave the link to full playlist in the description. Alright, and let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so I have imported this animation from one handed sword pack from Ramsters. So, this is what I'm gonna use as the evade animation. So, let's create first. I'll enable road motion for this so the character will actually move when I play this animation and then let's create an animation montage a bit okay now we have the montage uh, let's create an ability gameplay gameplay ability I'll choose GACLM as the parent I'll rename it a event now here as the ability tag I'll use well let's create one ability event and add the new tag select it that's the ability tag and character should not be able to evade if the character is stunned so stayed stunned or dead obviously right now how do we play this and here let's play one touch and wait let's use this and the montage is evade montage and ability should be end if this is completed or maybe interrupted okay now but we can play this but how do we know the character is evading so for that I'll add a new gameplay effect. We have too many gameplay effects now, but no. Well, actually, not too many. It's just too many in this folder. Gameplay effect. Perfect. 
I'll call it G E evade. Let me open this. And here, duration policy. I'll set has duration. And then the so duration, let's say one seconds. And let's add a modifier. Sorry, a component. Target tags gameplay effect. And here let's add a tag. So we need to say the character is currently evading. So here under state, let's add character dot state dot evading. Let's choose that as the added tag. Then GE event. I'll apply gameplay effect to owner and choose GE event. So how do we activate this ability for that let me open my character and under the character we have a set of default abilities so here I'll add GA evade as well as a default ability and we need an input so that person input actions let's create a new input i a evade now we don't need to do anything here we can keep the default values but in here input map in context let's add i a evade and as the key for now i'm going to use left control then save everything Here. Let's add under attack here. Yeah. Maybe let's call this fight so that we can add evade also inside here. Evade. And on started, activate. Activate gameplay. No, try activate. Oh, sorry, not the moment component, ability system component. Activate gameplay. Wait, try activate gameplay ability by tag. Okay, and Gameplay tag container. Evet. Okay, let's just play and see if it works. Yeah, it is working. Cool. Now the next thing is when the character is evading, how to check how to prevent getting damaged. So for that, here we have GA hit react sword light and hit react sword heavy. So here, this is hit react sword light. Let's implement it first here. So first, let's check if the actor is evading. We can check it by using this has any matching gameplay tags and the tag would be character state evading so if the character is evading 
Let's have another branch here. So if the character is not divided, we should go on the usual path. If not, well, we don't really have to do anything. We can just end ability. So we can either do like this. Or we could just call end ability right there, so but I'll do it like this. So we have one point that we end so everything. Okay. Now this is for light attack reaction for heavy attack also. I need to do the same thing. Oh, so we are repeating some code here. Later on I should refactor this. Anyway. It's fine for now. If it is false, if it is true, and ability. Okay, compile, save. Now, time to test. Let's start fighting. Yeah, oh, when I not evade, we get hit, but when I evade, Oh, there is a problem. The character moves too much. Yeah, but the evading part is working. So, to prevent character moving too much, especially it's visible when the character do a heavy attack. Here, this. Let's reduce this to 190 and also I have GA attack sort. So here if the distance is larger than 200, I adjust the location. I think we should not do that. Let me just disconnect this. without that okay right so we can successfully wait So if I just stay there, I will get it. Alright, so that's how you implement evade. So later on, we will implement some directional dodge as well. So that player can decide which direction the character should dodge. And thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for the download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Goodbye.